So we're here with Scott at the uh, Bell booth and they got this awesome air taxi. Scott, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Bell, about this air taxi and what we can expect this uh, flying around New York City? Yeah, sure. Uh, this is the Bell Nexus. It's, kind of, it's the crown jewel of Bell's on-demand mobility efforts to move people, goods and data from one point to another in an on-demand fashion. And mm -hmm. this is a vehicle aimed at, as you said, the air taxi market. It's about a six to seven thousand pound gross weight vehicle. Yep. It has six tilting ducted fans. Uh, so it flies like a helicopter in VTOL mode and like an airplane in cruise mode. It also has a hybrid electric propulsion system. That is, it's driven by a gas turbo shaft that runs a generator and then which powers the electric motors out in the ducts. It's got a big roomy interior. We believe in reaching a new customer set of folks. Yeah. Somebody, people that can use this in their daily commutes, use this in their daily mobility solutions. And we're really uh, interested in being here at UA, AUVSI to make sure people get yeah. a feel for what it is. How many people fit into uh, the Bell Nexus? So the Bell Nexus holds four plus one. Yeah. Uh, that's the current configuration we have her in. Plus one being a place for a pilot if the regulatory agencies or customer acceptance or the technology is not ready for autonomy when we're ready with the vehicle. And then we'll take that pilot out and go to a fully autonomous state. So with the Nexus, the idea is you can do either or. You can either fly it manually with the pilots or it could be flown as a drone if you know. It, it, autonomously, yeah, it autonomous. can be flown yes, autonomously. Yes. Yeah. Um, what, what are the clear benefits that this would offer versus, let's say, a helicopter or versus an airplane? Because it's such a unique and different design. Yeah, sure. So a lot of people ask us that question because today Bell Helicopter moves goods and people from, amongst cities and from point A to point B all the time. Uh, the difference here is this vehicle is going to be a lot more economical to operate yep. and it's going to be a lot more quiet. So inside the cityscapes where noise is an issue for yep. various communities, we're going to bring that down. And as we said before, trying to get to that different client set, bring the direct operating cost down for people to ride on it in a more regular fashion. And can you tell us a little bit about uh, the flight time and the performance aspects yeah, sure. of uh, the Bell Nexus? Yeah, Nexus will cruise at 150 miles per hour wow. and have a range of 150 miles. Uh, we love that because the hybrid system is a, is a range extender. It's yeah. also a great mechanism to let the batteries uh, technology mature around the market space, uh, but it gives our customers a broader mission capability set. Awesome. Uh, any idea on when we might expect to see this actually flying around cities such as uh, Chicago, New York? Or? Yeah, so we're targeting the middle of the next decade, so the yep. middle of the 2020s, in order to have a commercially viable system set up that includes the air vehicle, the airspace operations, and the uh, physical infrastructure. Yeah. Is, um, do you see the challenges more, let's say, in the regulatory environment or in the techno uh, technological uh, area in, well, in getting this to the market? I, mean. I think the operational challenges are tough, you know, making yeah. sure the airspace is ready, making sure the physical infrastructure is ready to connect people to the vehicle. I think uh, the FAA and Bell right now are the certification uh, authorities in Bell right now, even across the globe, yep. are doing a great job partnering together to make sure that the tech and the, and the cert piece will be ready. I think operationally it'll be a bigger challenge. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much yeah. for the interview. Uh, good luck at the show. Thanks a lot.